today we're going to be discussing what the Mexicans out here, you know, what the locals out here use to get the best deals possible. Now, if you're pretty much, you know, used to uh, living outside of Mexico, now by the way, nothing that I'm going to be saying here is new to anyone that's a Mexican or lives in Latin America for the most part. This is pretty much for expats and people coming from the US and Canada and so on and so forth. So out in the US and in Canada and in other places we have things like Craigslist and we also have uh, other places you know um, that we um, can find you know items that are usually like on sale or pretty cheap or you know where we can find um, like um, yard sales and all that good stuff. So out here in Mexico, when I first got here, I was, you know, trying to look on Craigslist, you know, that was always my go-to, and trying to, you know, find, like, deals and trying to get, you know, like, this apartment and so on and so forth. So, you know, one of the main questions that a lot of people, like, a lot, like, I think my, probably the most popular question I get asked is, how did I find this place? And, well, how I found this place was because when I got here, just a shortly after, I made, made a few friends, and they were the ones that pointed me to these places that I'm about to talk about. The first one is Mercado Libre. Now, I haven't really been to Mercado Libre much. It's Mercado Libre, it seems like it's more like an Amazon. It seems really cool. It seems like a lot of people are using it out here. And, um, but it, it's like Amazon and I don't know if it's like really taken on or not. Now, another place, you know, that people really, really use out here a lot is Facebook. Yeah, I know. Believe it or not, it's Facebook. So people go into Facebook and use the Facebook groups and uh, and they just look for deals and look for all kinds of things on there in order for, you know, it's just like Craigslist. You know, people are just posting and like, uh, you know, selling um, items in, in Merida, Mexico and stuff like this. Now, caveat, all of these things are in Spanish, okay? So, yeah, I forgot to mention that. I should have mentioned that earlier. but. You know, those are, that's those two. And then the third one is Viva Anuncio. Viva Anuncios is where I found this place, okay? That's where I found this place, okay? Because when I was looking at other places um, online in order to find a place to live once I was done with my Airbnb, um, I found that it was a little difficult, you know, to, to find a place. You know, anyways, not, I mean, to find a place with the right price. Because as you guys know, I pay around $200 for this place, 200 US dollars a month for this place. So in order for me to find this deal, I, I had to look at, you know, pretty much where the Mexicans look. And that was at Viva Nuncios. And again, I get to give a shout out to my friend out there that, you know, was the one that was that, you know, initially told me to go to these places and started, you know, um, to look in these places. Now. Let's start going with Viva Nuncios, okay? So when I first got here, you know, pretty much what I was only, the, the, the one thing I was looking for was a place to live. So I just, you know, so when um, they told me about Viva Nuncios and they told me that's pretty much, you know, like the place where you would go to find a place to live, you know, like a place to rent, a place to buy, a place to whatever, um, and that's a place I headed. And so I went there and uh, shortly thereafter of uh, me just taking a look um, within, uh, you know, within the website, I found a place to live, which is the place I found right here. So whenever anyone out there, you know, asks me, hey, wh what are the, what's a website where, you know, I can find a place to live, I always give them that website. Now, I don't know if there's more. If there's Mexicans out there or even other expats out there that know of other places, please feel free to, you know, leave them down there in the comments, okay? It would be very, very helpful to all of us in the community that is, you know, that is looking to move out here. And for, again, you know, for all of Mexico and Latin America and beyond, okay? You know, even if you're watching from another part of the world and there's other places, you know, let's say in the Philippines or Asia or in other parts of Latin America, please let us know. But as far as I know, these three places that I'm mentioning are the ones that are used the most out here. But again, if there's more, please let us know. You know, so the Facebook Marketplace. So, you know, they have the same Facebook Marketplace out here, but people actually use it. In fact, the the place the, the place in Mexico with the most Facebook usage overall is the Yucatan Peninsula, okay? But regardless, Facebook is 
the place to go. Now, I, I'm sure if you're an American, you know, depending on who you are, um, some, some of you guys love Facebook, but some of you guys really hate Facebook. And I'm one of those, I'm not a Facebook lover, but because of uh, me being out here, um, I finally gave in and started using the Facebook marketplace. I'm very, very hard headed. And I do have a Facebook account, but it's beyond private, okay? Uh, and seriously, so don't even ask, okay? I got all these other Insta, Insta, what is it? I just don't like Facebook, all right? But I got all these other um, um, social media platforms that you can follow me on which a reminder please leave a like subscribe to the channel if you like this stuff also follow me on Instagram on Twitter I have a discord group if you don't know what discord is check it out down below it's a big community where we all chat so on and so forth and there's other links to all kinds of things down there but anyways regardless back to the Facebook thing I'm not a fan but when I got here eventually very like about six seven months in I finally gave in and I got on Facebook uh, and just only for the purpose of going to the Facebook marketplace and man was I surprised so you know out here people are not really you know worried about the whole privacy thing and the government censorship so they just really use Facebook you know in the way Gary Vee says you know people use Facebook you know a lot which is to sell stuff and to interact and so on and so forth so long story short really the Facebook marketplace is a, a place where you know when I first got here I had stuff like you know camera and camera equipment that I had to sell in order to survive you know the first several months and so Facebook market marketplace was actually the place that I went to also um, I helped several people you know not only sell stuff on there but I know that I could sell stuff on there because I have and I've bought stuff from on there and it's just like Craigslist so the Facebook marketplace would literally be like Craigslist out there okay so if Craigslist was your go-to place back in the States or wherever you're from then Craigslist would be your I mean <laughs> then Facebook marketplace will be your go-to place out here because it is for me and again it goes for everything that you would pretty much find on Facebook all right I mean that you will find on Craigslist you'll find on Facebook outside of the misconnections and all that stuff but yeah Facebook is great out here okay um, that's why the whole Facebook coin and the whole Facebook uh, situation which I talk about in another video I'll see if I can link it here somewhere um, if not just check it out uh, I just posted a few days ago or just check it out I have it. Um, I, you know I explained the importance as to why you know Facebook wants to start banking the unbanked because again because of exactly you know what this is also what inspired me to make this video you know because of just that correlation that is already going on out here you know that you know a lot of people just don't understand unless you move out here because again you know you're looking at this video for insider tips on how to get the best possible deal out here and most people will never think of Facebook marketplace so check out Facebook marketplace and again look it's funny I'm wearing blue I'm not trying to even like condone you know I'm not a, like a Facebook fanatic but hey you know you might as well take advantage of something in a tool that's already there for free like I tell you guys to use you know other social media platforms you know to your advantage in order to get your message across and so on and so forth so all right I'm just not what this episode's about um, if you want to do more research and not check out Gary Vee you know I think I think young kids are getting tricked right now and think just because it's a technology boom and just because they understand it, that they have this great advantage over 45 year old executors. It's audacity, which I love. Channeled properly, it gives them the lack of fear to do things. So I really don't talk a lot about it because I don't want to stop it because I think it's their greatest gift as well. But I think it's patience, I think it's lack of experience, and the biggest one is lack of talent. Every young kid thinks they're entitled to be an entrepreneur now. It's the cool thing. Truth is, it's not gonna work out. Like, it just isn't, the math doesn't work out. Like, 98% of the people that are starting startups are gonna lose. And again, the reason I started with the economic, like, the economic growth of the globe is keeping a fake entrepreneur alive. Most of your friends that in their 20s that have businesses aren't actually making money if they're in tech. They've raised capital and they're losing money every month. That's ultimately something that doesn't work out. He's a social media guru when it comes to business, okay? And that's about it. Okay, so, and a bunch of other things. Anyways, okay, so the other, um, the last place I wanted to mention was, uh, what did I mention already? I think I mentioned uh, Mercado Libre. Viva Anuncios in the Facebook, oh yeah, that's right. So, and then Mercado Libre. So Mercado Libre, I haven't really used. I, I, I you know, the few times that I um, have tried to look for something online or so on and so forth, I have gone, 
and and uh, the route of Amazon. But then I, I, you know, I would always be very frustrated with using Amazon.com out here. And then you know, either a it's a very expensive shipping, or b they have it, but oh wait, or b they don't have it. You know what I mean? It's like it's one or the other. You know, so it's either expensive shipping or b they don't have it available here in Mexico. So it's a pain in the ass. But then you know, as, as right before I started doing this video, I was like, let me do a little research, and I completely forgot about Megalo Libre. Megalo Libre is also a place where people are going to be using that Facebook coin. By the way, FYI. But anyways, Mercado Libre seems to be like the Amazon of, of Mexico and Latin America. So Mercado Libre, again, I'm leaving links to all these things at the bottom of the video, all right? But Mercado Libre seems to be the, the one, um, you know, the Amazon or like the Alibaba of Mexico and Latin America. You know, like Alibaba is what's used in Asia. Amazon is what's used in the United States and uh and also Europe and so on and so forth. And then in, in Latin America, it's Mercado Libre. So again, Mercado Libre is a place where you can, you know, just shop, find deals. And uh, I got to check it out myself because uh, right before I was doing this video and I checked it out, I was like, oh, wow, Mercado Libre seems to be cooler. Because I thought Mercado Libre was more like the Facebook marketplace. But then when I checked it out on, online, I was like, oh, wait a minute. This is more like Amazon.com. So it might be something for you guys to check out. So this video, it's kind of short because I just wanted to get this little bit of a message across because I feel like it's going to answer a lot of questions that I get asked all the time, which is like, how, you know, do I find, I'm still going to get asked these questions. I'm still going to be answering them, but hopefully this video helps a lot of you guys, you know, when it comes to, you know, moving out here and finding a place to live somewhere in Latin America, um, where you can use all three of these tools in order to find not just a place but also find deals to get furniture you know to sell stuff to buy stuff and everything and anything in between just like we are used to and have back in the states with craigslist and other avenues okay so um before i end this video i want to just uh let you also have a quick reminder that you need to know spanish all right i know i should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video um but this is something that's very important. You need to know Spanish. I know there's Google Translator and stuff like that, and I'm sure you could use it for these websites. But again, I implore you guys to know at least some basic Spanish. Hey guys, as I was editing the video, I realized, as you guys realized, that the sound was starting to break up. Something was wrong with the microphone, and I sincerely apologize for that. But anyways, as I was explaining while you know you're watching this, um, you can just use Google Translate, and um, there's a bunch of other apps that you can download for your phone and a bunch of other means in which you can use in order to translate these things and start you know at least get on your feet and uh, figure things out but regardless um, all you got to do is just put a little bit of effort into just learning a little bit of Spanish you know and um, you will do that as you go along it's just gonna be a natural thing because you're obviously gonna be in a Spanish speaking country or whatever language you're, you're going to learn in whatever country you're going to go to. Um, but as you know, it's not necessary because we have technology. <laughs> I would just advise it. Okay, so, well, I'm going to end the video here because obviously, you know, um, the sound cut off and the rest of the video was done. But, I mean, we were getting close to the end anyway. So, I just want to say a big shout out to all my patrons out there, um, all, all, all you contributors out there that contribute in every single way. You know, whether you guys send me some coins or you guys leave comments or thumbs ups or share this video, it doesn't matter. I want to give a shout out to all of you guys. As a matter of fact, you know, I'm going to use some of those funds in order to get me a new wire for my microphone so that I can fix the sound issue. <laughs> Anyways guys, um, as you guys can see I have no alliance towards Facebook, see? Got my orange crush shirt um, as I say goodbye to you. Um, so again, just before I go I want to say a big thank you to all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share and uh, more importantly than anything else don't forget to stay awesome. And if you like this content, please feel free to check out the rest of my channel. All right, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.